How's it going guys? It is I, Deadly Samuel, and welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails of Beginnings. So last time we made it through both the Rosenberg Labo uh, Atelier and also the Rheinford Military Factory. And we're at the end now. I think this is the end. I wonder if, uh, or I hope those guys have made it here too. Yeah, let's do it. All right, this is Lloyd Mannings, can you hear me? I have a feeling there's gonna be an insane plot twist up ahead. We already have an idea. If you watched the last video, you have an idea about maybe who this fake Rufus could actually be. But I don't wanna say anything for sure yet. Yes, there is no problem on our end. Have you made your preparations? Yes, uh, please go ahead. All right then, let's begin. I. I wonder if we're gonna have to do both of them at once, like they're gonna be like linked. So when I do one, the other one's gonna, wait a sec, huh? Wait, did it not open? Oh, it did open. I thought that was like a problem or something. Looks like this is the end of the factory area. I wonder what's, uh, or what's, what's up ahead? Hmm, judging by the position, it should be the, uh, the central command room that like, watches over, like, to make sure if, as the factory's working properly. It seems like this will be the end of the, uh, those terminals that linked. It seems like this will be the end of those linked devices. Yes, it does seem that way. Which one should I do first? <laughs> I have to say I'm most interested in what's going on on Lloyd's side right now. Thanks to you, we have also uh, reached where we're supposed to go, or where we want to go. I thank you for your cooperation, uh, Lloyd Bannings, Officer Lloyd Bannings. Yes, us too. Thank you for cooperating with us. I don't know who you are, but uh, I will... Uh, let me say my thanks to you in person soon. <laughs> Let's both hope that day comes. In that case, I'm off. Hmm, the Lloyd from the special support sections. It seems like he kind of realized something, didn't it? <laughs> he was probably just guessing, or on the level of guessing. If, if it wasn't, then that would be a problem. After all, since this event took place in Crossbell, those guys are probably going to be the key to solving this. Huh? You really rate them highly, don't you? <laughs> if he didn't rank them highly, then he wouldn't have uh, took so much care to keep them away when he was uh, the Governor General. Anyway, uh, we've come pretty far in. Yes, the place where I was born. Rachan? Nothing. Uh, let's go. Okie dokie. I'm getting tense. Hmm. I wonder who they were. They seem to be pretty careful guys, though. Yeah, they even uh, messed with their voices so we couldn't tell who they were. But, well, I hope they weren't bad people, anyway. Whether they're good or bad or not. Whether they're good or bad is a different story. It seems that our interests just so happen to align for this, this time. But that way of speaking and that, those uh, nuances, I feel like I've heard them. Hmm. Anyway, it seems like this will be our final sh uh, stop up ahead. Yeah, the main control room. There's probably some very important data there after all. But the remnants of those experiments and research that were left all over the facilities. That man, there's a pretty high chance he's there. Interesting. Yeah, now that we've come this far, we'll just have to beat an answer out of him. When everyone's ready, let's let's infiltrate there. Yes. Let's do it. I'm getting nervous. He is done. <laughs> so you made it this far. You're... 
as we thought. Is he all alone? Ugh, this asshole. F. Novartis. <laughs> to think that not only the support section and the Grail Knights would come, but also Reinford and uh, ZCF's beloved child, or children too. You were uninvited guests, but allow me to welcome you in it anyway. The former number nine, it has been a while too, although I heard that you left the organization. The Golden Butterfly and Mr. Destruction. I don't know who he means by that. Uh, they seem to be lonely after you parted with them. <laughs> Please don't joke around. You know as well as I do that they're not the kind of people to do that. This is Professor Novartis, right? He was involved with the uh, independent country thing two years ago and made those ion those ions. And he was the one that unified the 13 uh, workshops that the Black Workshop was a part of. We've barely spoken to this man, but... But I've spoken to him a bit. It's been a while, hasn't it, Professor? Oh, the former Miko. During the independent country uh, time. I'm indebted to you for that. You made such a good power source for the Ions, but it's such a shame that you've lost your powers. If we had you, the uh, the perfection level of the Type 2s would have gone significantly up. Can you stop treating our child like she's some kind of tool? Oh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I just got a bit excited because it's pretty rare that I have visitors. I do hope you enjoyed uh, my lab, Reinford and... Hmm, I do hope you enjoyed my lab, daughter of Reinford and the, uh, the workshop leader. You have a lot of nerves saying that after uh, messing with our, our plant all by yourself. And one more thing, my father isn't the workshop leader. Oh, it looks like I was rude again. Well, I was just uh, <clears throat> giving you, it was more like a compliment, honestly. Can you stop with the lip service? Let's uh, talk about what we came here to talk about. Where did you take Erica? We know you took her somewhere. Give my mother back. Hmm? Uh, those women, huh? Or, like, her and other people, so there's more of them. Yeah, of course they're doing fine. Huh? Professor Erica, and who's that with her? Oh, 
Oh, it's her. She's from the um the place. She's from Ursula. The special support section. <laughs> well done making it all the way here. Sayland, uh, Professor Sayland? Why is a doctor from Ursula uh, University here? Medical University. Uh, mother, are you okay? Tita, why are you here? <laughs> you asshole redhead. What do you think I meant when I told you to keep her safe? What are you trying to gain by bringing her to a place like this? It's different. It's not that as you think, uh, mother. He didn't take me here. I came here of my own will. There's no way I wouldn't come after we parted ways like that and you made me worry so much. Tita. Oh, honestly, I guess I was still treating you like a child all this time. Uh, I guess I'm still being an overprotective mother. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna make the redhead pay for this later. Oh, I can't catch a break with you. But why did you kidnap even Professor Sayland? When I was headed to a conference in Lemetheria, uh, I was set upon by the Black Guardians and caught. And I was made to help out with that old man's research. His research. What could that? <laughs> but you seemed fairly enthusiastic to help yourself, didn't you? I really wish you'd think of it as more of an honor to get to help out with my research there. Well, I guess it was a pretty good experience. If it wasn't in exchange for uh, seeing Tita and also the patients in the hospital. But to think, oh, mother, what are you? <laughs> I couldn't have her spoiling the test, if you know what I mean. And since the research subjects, or rather the actors, have all assembled, I guess we should begin. Is this what he had them help him with? Make? What? That magic circle, or that teleporting circle. Oh my god. Yo. Is it really him, though? Yo, Kruger. And also the special support section, right? I see the red-headed bracer and the uh, girl from class 7 are also there with you. Although there's also some people I haven't met before. The strongest legion in the organization. McBurn, the conflagration. Why are you here? Hmm, so he's the number one. But if I remember right, according to the church's information,
after the uh, Phantasmal Fortress, he went on a journey, like a wandering journey. Why would you come to Crossbell? You weren't, you didn't get along with the professor, right? I think we know why that is. Yeah, that's actually something I want to know. <laughs> oh, never mind. He says, why do I have to come here on your command, old man? Huh? What is... Okay, McBurn, I leave the disposal of these guys to you. Feel free to go all out. <laughs> Fine. Oh god, I didn't think we'd have to fight him again. Oh hell yeah, this boss team. Okay, I guess we're fighting Laverne and he's gonna do this again, isn't he? Oh, he didn't! Ow. Does he have an anti order, I wonder? God damn, this guy is insane. Hmm. I remember in Trails of Cold Steel 2, he just resisted everything. He didn't have this weird, like, chart where he's, like, okay against ground, but then he's weak to some things and, like. Actually, I think he might have, like, completely nullified fire. Uh, what should I do here then? Okie dokie. I would like to heal that burn from young Waj. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess I might as well. We might get some status on him. Actually, probably not. He probably resists everything. 700,000! Okay. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to go with this. I think we can get a lot of damage. I was thinking about just using his uh, his craft that costs 80, but that would have nearly as much cooldown as an S-craft would. Moody. Alright, I want to show it again. Well, I mean, we took out a bit of his health, but it looks like we have to do all of it. <laughs> Yikes. This is about as much HP as he had in Trails of Cold Steel 4, and that was endgame shit. Actually, I think he had 900,000 HP in that game. And that was on hard mode, actually. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do that yet. I think I might heal young Wadge. And then... The best we have is just Lloyd's order, toughness shields. 
to block damage. I mean, I guess I'm glad we're fighting this form and not his huge demon form. That was so insane. That was like one of the coolest things of like any of like the series, honestly. That boss before the final boss of Trails of Cold Steel 4, where we learned all that stuff about the other world. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, it's all cancel. Not Pog. And I think it burned Lloyd, but it healed. But we got healed. And that's fine because we're gonna get. We would have healed with this anyway. All right then, McBurn. Wow, he's like not resistant, or he's not weak to anything, or like he doesn't get status at all. Five percent chance to do like anything. Uh, this fight's probably going to take a little while. This might be a two-parter. <laughs> 8,000. Oh, it just killed Waji. Ooh, the sky is hard. Hmm. We need to bust out the good stuff for this. Not that. Not that, I don't think. How about this? Great, I got has that worse burn. Ugh, this guy is so hard. I can already tell it's going to take me a while. I think it makes sense to use a Valiant Rage. Probably an attack. Didn't do much damage. Let's get this up again. And I guess we can try this. Oh, he's already overheating. He just healed. Oh no. Hmm. Well, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work, though. Hmm. The thing is, he's gonna, like, S-break us. Although, I guess it doesn't matter. Because he's gonna do it even if I do end up breaking him here. Oh, I don't know what to do, man. Break plus 200, break plus 300. And then I think I'm going to do this again. I want to try and break him if I can. Oh, look, he's like not taking any goddamn break damage. That's so bad. Holy fucking shit. Mm. If I went into Elisa here, she might be able to get something with her pierce. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, shit. Wait, no, that oh, I was on the wrong thing. That's not Pierce, is it? I'm so dumb. I just fucked up so hard. Mm. Okay, well, we're fucked. Are you kidding me? Oh no.
I, I hate how it like moves so slowly, but they don't even try and move out the way. Lloyd actually lived it even without the buff, but it just it burns you like that, and it's just oh. If I do this, I heal from it there. Eat this, bitch. I mean, I know I'm gonna die. Oh, it missed him. Great. Okie dokie. I have messed with my settings, and as you can see, well, not my settings, my characters, and as you can see, Waji has about three times as much HP as he did before. That is because of his equipment. I made him into a bulky boy. So he will be able. Oh, I also changed his uh, thing, so as you can see, my items now have range. I think that'll be very helpful coming up. Because after I cut it, he. Um, he came out of his awakened state and then immediately went back in and used another S-Craft. And I was just like, what the fuck? So yeah, I also gave, I gave him this. <laughs> hmm. An existence from the heavens comes down and lays judgment upon enemies with a... Uh, or no, destroys enemies with the sword of judgment. Or so it says. It's also non-elemental, I'm pretty sure. I think I'll actually maybe start off with that. <laughs> Why not? I want to see what the Lost Arts look like too. But there's actually something else I want to do first. Hmm. Everyone has way more HP than they did before. Except the guy. I think I left him the same. So I'm going to try something a bit cheeky here. I want to try and break him early. Actually, that's probably not going to work. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe no. I mean, I'm still going to try him as well. If this doesn't stagger him more, or whatever, yeah, I thought so. Alright, let's just do this. Change of plan. He's so hard to break. Even when he's in Awakened. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not looking good. Because he's going to get a stupid... Well, I guess it's fine. I can just not... thing is, he has all cancel, too, on one of his attacks. I think it might be that one. No, never mind. But having Waji with Tio, uh, Tita's... Master Quartz will make it a lot easier for healing his statuses. Alright, let's see what this does. <laughs> Ooh, not bad, not bad. Alright, well we got Critical Lacrest going here. Huh, what should I have you do? Shahon? Oh, he's actually weaker to space than he is to time, or illusion, I mean. Fucking ouch, I hate that attack. Yeah, Waji, you get another turn. Let's heal off all that burnage. I didn't even know that a quartz like this existed. Oh. It didn't heal them. Fucking hell, that did so much damage to her. 10,000? Yikes. I think that this definitely heals it, though. Where is it? The... This. The thing that heals all statuses. I guess it just doesn't count as burn. Alright, there we go. Thank god. Hmm. Yeah, this guy is absolutely terrifying. Ugh. <sighs> 
I guess I'll go with this. I just want to do some damage. And then, obviously, I need to do this. Can't forget toughness shield. And uh, now I'm going to use this to heal 10,000 to everyone. Oh, and items' effects are increased. Yeah, there he goes already. Overheat. I think he even healed from that. Is this guy even possible? Who knows? I might actually have to grind in the Reveri Corridor. <laughs> I mean, he's going to go for a stupid thing. Hmm. What to do? Nice. Oh, he didn't count me, though. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Well, we can heal some uh, EP. Yep. And all cancel, bruh. At least he has a lot of delay now. Right, where is it? Where is it? It has to be these, apparently. Okay, I didn't miss, thank god. Oh my god, all that for 4,000 damage? I think we're gonna have to switch out some party members here. Alright. You're not doing enough damage. I gave Tio a bunch of buffs. On her stuff. But... I mean, I don't know if she's even going to be able to do any damage. Let's see here. Um, since he has all cancel, I don't think this, which reflects stuff, would work on his S-Craft. Maybe I'll try it though next time. We made him a bit easier to break now. Oh, the magic sword. Good god. Well, I kind of have to heal the burn, don't I? Oh, I've also got something that nullifies statuses on uh, Tio. It's actually Lapis's Master Chords. Mm, got a cheeky crit there. And all cancel again. And burn. Maybe I should have given people more, like, burn nullifying equipment. But no, that doesn't work, because his other thing doesn't count as burn. So everyone's going to get burned anyway. Oh my god. And now we're all split up from each other. If I did this, it wouldn't work. I think I've got to get Sharon back in here. Pretty sure I gave her this. Yep. Oh, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I heal the burn? Uh-oh. 
Yeah, he also has this attack, I found out. Where it looks the same as a regular craft, but you can't block it, and it always gets you down to, like, 1% of your HP. And I might as well do it again, because why not? Yeah, not cool. Well, Lloyd's healed from it, that's nice. Hmm, it's only a gut that needs healing. Well, I mean, we all need healing, but, you know. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, well, I got him down to half, as you can see. Oh, and he stops being... Uh, that's so annoying how that happens. If, if they start talking during the fight, they just lose any status that they have. It's so annoying. Such an unfair advantage. Hmm. So, as you can see, I've got a bit of a... Well, you probably can't because I cut most of it out, but I have a bit of a system going here. Uh, and one part of that system involves doing this, so I really need this up. He actually caught me off guard. I forgot to do that, and then he S craft without even going into awaken mode first. So just completely raw S crafted me, but I somehow managed to live. Like all of my characters lit. Well, Elisa died, but then she revived because of her ability. And yeah, now I'm just thinking about what to do here. I think I might just punch him up a bit. Nice. I'm running a bit low on BP. I need that. Oh, now he's dead. He also heals so much, well, like 20,000 or something, from doing that, which is just super not fun to deal with. Hmm. Why you could use a little bit of this. I mean, we already know he's just going to do this. I got going to die, but that's fine. Oh, that's right. I gave him Elisa's uh, master course in his secondary thing, so he revives now <laughs> when he's on the verge of death. Kind of cool. Okie dokie. Lloyd will be fine, I think. Hmm. Actually, I might not even bother doing that with Waji. It's probably better to just do this. I've been using Tita as a healer. Hmm. I don't know who I should Ashcroft with. Probably a guy, I think. No, hold on, let me do this, because I'm going to use up a bunch of turns if I spam Ashcrofts. Actually, I think I will use Lloyd. Let's do this. And then this. Not doing much break damage, but it'll... It should stack up eventually for when he comes back to normal. Oh, I hate this attack because it does so much damage. <sighs> Holy shit, I had to reorganize my equipment so hard though for this. And he's still giving me super trouble. Like, depending on how this goes, I could still lose. I'm very prepared for that. Okay, let's do that, and then... Oh, I need another toughness shield. Thank you for reminding me. Heal those two. He's... Uh, see, this is what I mean. Like, he wasn't even done with his last one. He just did it again. Now he's above half HP. God damn it, this guy is so fucking annoying. I think it's just completely random when he decides to go into his awakened bullshit. 
I'd like to believe that he's not going to S-Craft again. But let's be honest, he probably will. And if he does, then I want a gut and Tita healed. I'm gonna stay on. Oh my god, he is. This bitch. All cancel. Half is burned. Do that. Oh yeah, and he got rid of our buff too. That's so annoying. Hmm. I guess I can just regular attack. And then with Lloyd we'll do this. Not gonna get a zero arts turn, unfortunately. Oh no, is he dead? No. Oh my god, that's such bad luck. That is such bad luck. I mean, I was I need to do this. And then I need to heal Lloyd, and then I need to use a guard's S craft. Do it again. Twenty thousand damage, not bad, not bad, especially considering he's He's on his bullshit. I didn't actually have a gut in the party, but then I realized I wasn't doing any goddamn damage, and I needed to fix that, so... I guess I have to mess with the turn order again. Oh, wait a sec, let me... This is why I died last time. Let's get everyone's defense up a bit. Just going for another big attack, but for some reason doesn't have... Uh... I hate you. Can you just stop? Okay, I think I might have him here. Everyone's got pretty good seep. Uh, hold on a sec, let me. I need something that'll break his ass. I'm gonna break him and spam S crafts here. If it doesn't work, then I'm fucked. But. Well, let's just hope it works. I needed a guard to get. Uh, his thing. Hold on. I needed a guard to get. Wait, shit. Here we go. Okay, that's 24,000. Now he's broken. Another 24,000? No, even better. Okay, he's got 10,000 HP left. Hmm. Tiger charge! Do, 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 do. Another 20,000. And now another S craft with a crit turn. Rising Sun. I think I might have this, boys. Holy crap, what a boss fight. My recording is nearly at two hours. That's how long this guy has taken me. 52,000! And yet now he's only got 16... or 6,000 HP left. Yeah, I guess we can finish it with a linked attack. Punch. And just in case somehow this doesn't finish him, I got Wadgy on the job. Holy shit. That was... That was like equivalent to the C fight in Trailer Cold Steel 1. Actually, I think the C fight was probably harder, because that one I just had to play it really slow and save. 48 minutes, that's how long this fight took me. And I got super bonuses somehow. Holy shit. Oh, wow, everyone grew like six level ups from that. What the hell? Any any new crafts? Oh, nothing. Oh.
Oh, this music. I know this. Oh, no. Oh my god, we're fighting this, aren't we? Is after that fight, there's seriously more? Wait. Huh? So that's the limit. I guess replicating the powers of the outside wouldn't won't be such an easy task. His arm. It, inside his arm. It, no way. He's. Ah, I see. I see, so I, so this me was a fake. What? <laughs> exactly. After many years of using this technology and theorizing, the technology of dolls has reached new heights. The simulacrum, a robot that is able to think and act by itself, while also mimicking the same abilities and thought patterns as the original. And you are the culmination of that, McBurn. Simulacrum. It's completely different to the homunculi. Yes, they're artificial humans made with a mechanical base. Is that even possible? It's impossible. There's no way that could be real. Completely autonomous thought on the level to where the robot doesn't even realize what they are. So the reason you kidnapped my mother and uh, Sa Professor Salen was... Huh. 
the theory itself was completed long before I had them help me, but... I just borrowed Miss Erica's technology as well as the uh, forefront of medical technology in order to recreate the power of the outside. Unfortunately, it seemed to end up failing this time, but, well, I'll make it my homework. What's that? Get down! Oh god. He blew up McBurn. And the whole factory, what the hell? I mean, I knew this would happen because it was in the trailer, but... Excuse me, TV. I, mean, I don't think you can see that. I've had my TV on so long it tried to turn off automatically. A bomb? What are you trying to do? Isn't this an important facility for you guys too? <laughs> well, the thing is, including the magic uh, soldat thingies, everything we needed to make in order for our plan has already been made. Even if we lose this place, there sh it shouldn't m impact the new ruler uh, in any way whatsoever. Oh, and also, I want to get one thing straight. I am not with the new ruler. Oh, I only helped them out for the sake of my own interests and my experiments. You're insane. I figured your motive would have been something like that. Honestly, he's so selfish, it's almost refreshing. He's even more of an asshole than that Schmidt guy. <laughs> but man, what, what amazing data I managed to get from all this. I'm so glad I decided to participate in this. Oh god. Replicating the powers of the outside. This time I failed, but next time for sure. Huh? He's alive! Yeah, I want to turn you into cinders, but, well, let's call it a draw this time. See you later, uh, piece of shit, old man. <laughs> you better not let the real me find out about this. Uh, I think I'll, I'll never be able to get along with you. Well, I mean, I don't have the details, but I managed to remember most of the data anyway. I will be leaving for now. I have to go and greet the people over there. After all, who does he mean? People over there? He just left us with even more mysteries, didn't he? 
But uh, we should probably worry about this first. This is bad. Uh, the circulation of the fire was a lot quicker than I thought. <sighs> Let's go and release uh, Erica and the others. Yes, I'll unlock the door. Or remove the lock on the door. Oh, thank goodness. Tita! Oh, mother, thank goodness you seem to be okay. Sorry, you saved us. Can we save this for later? Let's get out of here. Uh, please hurry. Oh shit, McBurn. You're... <laughs> See you later, Bannings. It was a bit of a short time, but I really enjoyed myself. Well, if you meet the, uh, the Ashen Kitty or Crow, tell them I said hi. Fire's already spread so far. At this rate, this place won't last very long. Yeah, but if the smoke fills up any more, we'll be dead before the building even collapses. We'll lead the escape, Tio. Can I count on you for navigation? Yes. Uh, let's go while dodging the fire. Oh, ah, uh, get to the end or escape the place before the time limit runs out. Oh golly. Well, at least we have a map. I'm not going to worry about healing. Run! There's probably going to be enemies around too, aren't they? Since they're all robots, they don't care about getting out of here in time. Uh, this, this probably isn't, like, stressful. They probably give you more than enough time. Ooh, I'll take some of those. Yeah, if I see boxes, I'll break them, because I want to get my charge back up for when I fight the boss on uh, C's route. Because <laughs> we got that after this. I mean, obviously, I'll probably take a break since I've been recording for like over two hours at this point. But I'm the wrong way. Oh, those aren't boxes. They're fake boxes. I'll just follow the map. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Or I guess it doesn't suck because they didn't spoil like any of the plot stuff. But they did spoil a lot of things like this on the trailer. Like, as soon as we. I heard we were going to a military factory. I already pictured like that scene from the trailer where there was a like re like a facility on fire and Lloyd was running out and then a certain other character shows up later to help him out. Hmm. I wonder if the fake Rufus knows he's a fake in that case because the McBurn didn't. Is this the way out? Oh, it's just the first screen, okay. I'm surprised, I thought they'd put enemies here. There's probably gonna be a mini boss at the end that we have to beat in under two minutes. Hold on, let me translate that real quick. <coughs> Kia, you're right. Uh, we should nearly be at the exit. Please, uh, last until then. I'll open the, uh, I'll open the road. Let's hurry. I guess she means, like, I'll take charge. Or maybe clear the rubble. Maybe that's what's going on. The thing is, I don't see any rubble being cleared. Which way, which way? Left and up. God, I hope there's not a boss, because I did not heal. But if there is, they'll probably heal me. This game's quite nice about that. Alright, I'll heal anyway. <laughs> Just in case. And now we escape. Noel, help me. Oh, I got 3 RP. Uh, so I guess there's not really a penalty for failing to escape. Oh. 
<laughs> Again, that would have been a lot cooler if, if it hadn't been spoiled, but I mean, what can you do? They wanted to hype up the game, makes sense. Movies do that kind of shit anyway. <sighs> You're not injured, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> but I, I never knew you had such a cool bike, really. She used it in her S-Craft. <laughs> I was uh, practicing in secret to surprise you guys. I'm so glad I, I was in time. <sighs> You're so reckless. <laughs> Try to think of how we feel. <laughs> Thank you too, Aji. Yeah, you two really uh, helped out. Oh, honestly. Aji, are you okay? And that's the end of Lloyd Root, Chapter 3. Through the Illusions. And yeah, I guess. My god, that was insane. It kind of like, it lost a bit of the shock value when Lloyd kind of figured it out earlier when we were looking at that, uh, that OZ Mirage thing. And then he kind of was like, a fake. No way. And then he thinks of Rufus, and I'm like, oh, that's where they're going with this. But yeah, damn. That was that was a lot. And <laughs> next time, we are going to finish Rufus's route, chapter 3. I don't know if it'll, like, I don't know what it'll do, like, what kind of truth they'll lay on us there. But hopefully it lives up to this one. Anyway, I've been going for nearly three hours. I need to stop. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.